Uh, good evening to all. As promised, we are working the streets of Shreveport this evening. We'll be in at least two or three different neighborhoods speaking with citizens on the ongoing violence within the city. Um, I'm speaking with some gentlemen now. We agreed not to show uh, their face or give their names. And we're speaking on the incident of the uh, a shooting last night of a juvenile and the shooting that was on the uh, interstate which has a uh, a lot of people uh, not only concerned about that, but uh, uh, kind of angry because a child was in, involved. And uh, I asked this gentleman a few minutes ago uh, his thoughts on the shooting on the interstate last night in, in Shreveport. And uh, tell him what you told me. Please. I'm going to just say, man, I ain't got no business. I ain't got nothing to do with what happened on the interstate. But, man, it's rude to this shit. These rules were written in the handbook before your time, man. When you go to shooting kids, I'm talking about innocent children, you done violated all the rules that been written in the handbook before your time, man. And that's some fucked up shit, nigga, shooting kids, man. I'm talking about you cross the line when you go to shooting children, you know what I'm saying? I don't care about all this other shit that's going on, but I really do, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. But you, you step the line when you go to shooting children, man, real talk. And I've been out here 40 some years because I done seen a lot of shit and been through a lot of shit. That's that new generation shit that's putting kids involved, taking kids' life before they can even much enjoy their life, man. And I'm keeping that. That's real shit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm through. All right, I appreciate your comment. Uh, either you guys want to uh, chime in on this or. I be sitting in my window. They know where I'm at. I'm in my window, you heard? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, I I, 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 say. okay, you just sit in your window. Yeah, sit in my window and watch this crazy shit. And then it's almost sad because you almost got to have something to protect yeah. yourself if you come outside. Hey, and there's no lie. People nowadays got to arm themselves. They wouldn't usually arm themselves because so much crazy shit is going on in Shreveport, man. Exactly. These motherfuckers killing each other like we on the coast somewhere. Fucking millions of dollars, and then they killing for nothing. For nothing, cuz. I don't want to talk no more, because I could talk to this time to tomorrow, but man, these, they, man, I'm <laughs> they crazy, they tripping out here in these streets, man. I just stay out the way, man. That's man. all I'm going to do. That's I'm going to enjoy. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the rest of my year, man, and right. stay out the way. I swear to God. I appreciate you guys. Y'all enjoy the rest of your evening. Right, you be easy, bro. I will. Thank you kindly. Okay, there you have it. Uh, people are upset about uh, the shooting on the uh, interstate last night in particular simply because there was a child involved in that shooting. But it has become the norm in Shreveport, Louisiana uh, uh, for shootings just about every day. Uh, if Miss Ferris or someone doesn't call me about a shooting in Shreveport, uh, then I wonder what's going on. So when we get to a point to where this has become uh, the norm, as I always said, this has also become a crisis. You know, but the gentleman uh, just spoke last, you heard him, he was really upset about uh, the child that was um, that had been shot last night on the interstate. Right now I'm in the uh, central apartments where the shooting occurred with a juvenile on last night. Uh, I hadn't been able to confirm this, but one of the gentlemen told me that the uh, the juvenile that was shot last night was not the intended target. Uh, the child was out late and just happened to be, uh, as they said, in the way. But again, they're telling me that the child that was shot last night was not the intended target. Again, we will be out in the streets in Shreveport, Louisiana every night this week. Uh, I don't know where I'm going until I uh, until we get there, and then we will always go live and uh, to let you know that we are in your neighborhood. We're speaking with citizens in Shreveport to get their take on uh, what's going on and um, any suggestions as to what we can do or what we should be doing uh, to try to uh, put a major dent into all the shootings in Shreveport. But it doesn't look like it's uh, easing up any. As a matter of fact, it looks like it's getting worse. And so everybody has a uh, voice in this and everybody is somebody's child. The shootings are senseless, especially when you have innocent individuals uh, killed.
catching bullets. And as I said yesterday on Facebook, if black people are not dodging the coronavirus in Shreveport, we're dodging damn bullets. And this is unacceptable, diabolical, and it is outright a crying shame that people have taken the uh, city of Shreveport and they're now holding us hostage in our own neighborhoods. I'm Al Scott with Injustice Investigations. Y'all enjoy your evening. Thank <laughs> you.